Hi all. Today let's take a look at a new directive, NG optimized image, which was introduced in Angular 14. So this is still in developer preview. So the main objective of introducing this directive is to improve the performance of loading images in our application. So this way we will be able to improve the largest contentful paint for our application in cases where we have to load images in our application. So here I have created an Angular 14 application which basically displays some images of certain cities and it loads around six images. So if you go to the code for this application, you can see that it is a simple list which consists of images where I have used the normal img tag along with the source where we provide the name of the images along with width and the height of the images. Also I have given the alternate text in case the image is not present. So if you go to our application, you can see that the first image is the largest content within our application during the initial load. So while measuring the performance of our page, this first image plays a crucial role in determining the performance score of our application. How it is determined is based on how fast this particular resource is loaded. So coming to the images, as you can see here, initially itself, all the six images have been loaded. And here we have a field called priority where it will list the priority based on which this particular resource was fetched from the server. So here you can see that the browser automatically determines the priority of these images. And since the first two images are visible in viewport, the browser automatically fetches it with high priority. So this can vary based on browsers. The new directive which Angular has introduced this automatically takes care of this priority and along with some other features like lazy loading of images which are not available in the viewport. So let's see how we can do that. So first we need to import the directive ng optimized image. This is available within the angular common package and it can either be introduced within the imports of our ng module or in case we are making use of standalone components it can be imported in the imports of a standalone component as well so in this scenario i am making use of an ng module so i have imported that directive within the imports now we can go to our html that is the app component.html where we need to load our images. So basically instead of the SRC property of the image, we can provide something called the raw SRC. So by default, a no operation loader will be provided by Angular, which basically returns the same SRC itself and it does not add any transformation to the URL which we provide. So once we provide this, you can see that our image is getting loaded normally. But one thing to note is that now the browser actually reduced the priority of the initial image. So in order to improve the LCP, some warnings are provided by the Angular directive here in the console. So it states that the image Trolley, that is the first image that is the largest contentful paint but was not marked with priority so in order to make the browser fetch this image so here currently it is fetched with low priority in order to make it as high priority we need to give the attribute priority and it accepts three values high auto and low so since it is the LCP, we will give the priority as high. So now what happens is that 
when the image is reloaded you can see that the pick trolley which is the LCP it is picked with the high priority another thing to note is that the width and the height these two properties are mandatory so if you don't give that the directive will throw an error and say that the width and height are mandatory so in the normal image SRC you can see that it is not actually needed so it is an optional one but in the case of the new angular directive you need to provide a width and height so this is done in order to prevent the layout shift when the image is loaded so in case you don't give the width and the height the layout of our page can shift when the image is loaded in case we are making use of the normal SRC is there any way in which we can improve the priority of the image so the priority property of the directive is actually based on the fetch priority property which is available in certain browsers like Chrome so this has the same effect as the priority attribute which we saw in angular so if you give it you can see that the priority of the element is high so in case you want to reduce the priority of certain element so just let us try for example in the first image I am going to change the priority as low you can see that when I refresh the page the priority has been changed to low so this is the use of the fetch priority attribute in image SRC in the image tag but since this is not widely supported in all the browsers the priority attribute of our angular directive it helps us in covering those scenarios so we can replace the SRC with the raw SRC in our corresponding tags so this particular third tag we will take a look at a later point of time since it deals with the source set which is used for handling the responsive images another important behavior of our new angular directive is that in case the width which we provide for a particular image it does not meet the aspect ratio of that particular image what happens is that a warning is thrown and here it suggests that the image which we have loaded is of these dimensions and this aspect ratio but the width attribute and the height attribute which we provided are having a different aspect ratio so in order to fix that please update the width and height attributes so this helps us to maintain an accurate aspect ratio for all our images so once we change it to a correct aspect ratio the warning is gone you can see that initially when we refresh our page even though there are six images only five of them are loaded initially so this happened once we changed the SRC tag to the raw SRC so let's see that in case we change it to the SRC you can see that initially itself all the six images were loaded but when we replaced the SRC with raw SRC that is the actual directive you can see that the sixth image that was not loaded since it is not being displayed initially in the viewport and it is coming at the last so why this happened is that the sixth image is loaded lazily by the directive and the other three images that is not visible in the viewport they were loaded because there is a particular threshold that is provided by the browser so within that threshold all the images will be loaded so that when the user scrolls down it, he does not feel a jarring effect in which the images are getting loaded at that particular time so these images will be loaded ahead of time but beyond that threshold all the images or all the contents they will be loaded lazily only so once you scroll down you can see that now the sixth image is loaded so why this happened is the directive automatically adds this particular property that is loading 
lazy. So once the directive adds this property to images which are not in the viewport, the lazy loading functionality of the images will be automatically triggered. So this is available within the normal image tag as well. So if we replace it with the SRC, here you can see that when we refresh our page, the last image is not loaded. That is because in the image tag we have provided the loading as lazy. So this is available in the image tag and the angular directive as well. So there are three options. One is lazy, other is eager, where the image will be eagerly loaded. So this should ideally be used for images which are in the viewport, not outside the viewport. So in case we provide this here, you can see that immediately the last image that is also loaded. So we should not do that. We should be providing the loading lazy. So let's add that to all the images which are outside the viewport initially. So previously I had mentioned that the third image, currently we had not converted that into the Angular directive by replacing the SRC with row SRC. That is because we made use of the source set. So what is meant by source set is that within the source set you can provide multiple image names. Each image which represents a particular width or resolution. Once the width is below this particular threshold, this particular image will be used and above that till this range this image will be used. So this is an inbuilt property within the image tag itself. So now let's see this in action. If we go to our asset, you can see that there are two versions of this, three versions of this image, but I have given only two and we will be using the 674 and 1400 with images. So initially you can see that now the width is 525 pixel. So when I refresh the page, you can see that the 674 version is downloaded of that particular image. So this is that image. Now, in case we increase the width slowly, you can see that now the width is increasing. We have reached 674. Now you can see that a new request was sent through the network which sends for the bigger resolution image that is with 1400 and that image has been loaded here. So similarly when the initial width is greater than 674 when we try to refresh here you can see that the 1400 pixel image is getting loaded here. So now within the angular directive which we saw, we can make use of a property called raw source set where you can just pass the pass the widths of our image. So the two widths are 674 and 1400. But here when we tried that, you can see that that image is not getting loaded because as I mentioned, in case we do not configure any image loaders, by default that is a no operation loader and what it does is it does not do any transformation. So in case we provide something like this, the directive will not be able to do anything. So in such scenario, we should be making use of certain loaders, which is available within the Angular common. So these are some of the image loaders which are available within the Angular directive. So these image loaders can be used within the directive. And in order to get that particular image loader, we need to import this function provide imagex or cloudfare cloudinary or image kit loader 
and so in this example what we can do is we can take the image loader and we can provide that within the providers array where we can provide the host name of our image loading service so here it is in the assets.imagex.net domain it accepts an option in which you can provide the ensure pre-connect as true when we set this particular option as true what happens is that when we run our application you can see that it generates a warning that we need to add this particular tag in the head of our document so that the pre-connection can be done earlier itself so within the index.html we can add this particular line so that a connection is maintained early itself so once we do that that particular warning is gone now the images are not getting loaded because these images are not available within the image server but currently it is served locally so now let's take a image from the image server so now i have given the name of a file which is being served from the image server and also the two widths that is available that is 480 and 640 now when we refresh our application you can see that since the width is greater than 480 now the 640 width image is loaded and this is the format in which the image is loaded like the name of the file as query string they pass the format as auto and the width as 640 now when we reduce the width to less than 480 and refresh the page you can see that the image loaded is of width 480 and when we slowly increase the width the higher resolution image is downloaded automatically so hope you are able to get a good idea about the new angular directive ng optimized image which is introduced in angular 14 see you soon thank you